Well, hey folks, uh, welcome back to Wax Trash Treasures. Today, we're going to open up this box of Topps Chrome Platinum. This is, without a doubt, the set of the summer. And admittedly, these are last year's cards, right? Like, it's currently 2023, this is 2022, so these cards are a year behind. Uh, part of what that means is that the top rookies in here are guys like Julio uh, Rodriguez and C.J. Abrams and Bobby Witt Jr. instead of the rookies from the current year, right? Like, um, you know, uh, Spencer Steer or Corbin Carroll. This is an enormous set. It is 500 cards. But what makes this a great set is the inserts and the parallel rate in these blaster boxes, in the hobby boxes, in the, you know, the jumbo boxes is off the charts. Tops really took a lot of the criticism that they got for Series 1 to heart, clearly, and uh, and they have decided to straight up deliver on this set. Uh, let's see, so there are eight packs in here. I'm going to hold them, holding them upside down. There are eight packs in here. Each one contains four cards, unless there's a parallel, at which point there's five cards. You can feel the difference, right, between thick packs and thin packs when you get, you know, when you open enough cards, you get to know the weight difference. Um, let's see what we got here in our first pack. We got Vlad Guerrero Sr., not Jr. I got uh, Juan Gon. got Tom Glavin. We got Hans Kraus rookie card. And then here is our uh, retail specific blue uh, chrome refractor. So this is um, uh, this is the uh, the prism refractor for chrome. And uh, this is retail exclusive. So it's Corey Seeger, you know, not a terrible player. Uh, and that's our blue. I got a Bo Jackson in another one. It was a great color match. Let's see. Here's our second pack. We got uh, Matt Manning rookie card, Nick Lodolo rookie card, David Peralta, and Cesar Hernandez. This is a beautiful set, by the way. This is modeled after the 1952 top set. So you've got the team logo here. It could have said Washington Senators, right? Uh, you've got uh, very player focused photography. There's a little bit of artistic editing that happens to these photos. They've clearly been photoshopped. There's been some um, some blurring and some dodging done to the photos. It just makes them look, uh, frankly, a lot you know, a lot cooler. This is not a baseball action shot set. This is a baseball player set. Here's Dalton Varsho, Daryl Strawberry. We've got a Colton Wong and Satchel Page. And the Satchel Page looks absolutely sharp for the uh, St. Louis Browns. So um, that's a really cool card. Satchel gets a, gets a spot. There are base refractors in here. I'm not going to lie. I've always had a really difficult time identifying base refractors with my with my eyes. I have to look at the back of the card. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. You've got uh, Francisco Lindor. you got Juan Yepes, who is uh, back in the minors. He's played, like, maybe four games all season at the major league level. Got Eduardo Rodriguez, Heliot Ramos, and Curtis Terry in the regular prism refractor. So I'll put Curtis up here with the blue prism we got four packs left. Let's see what else is going to pop out of here. All right. I got uh, I got a little blue in here. It's a uh, one of the blue sparkles. So uh, we'll see which uh, who gets that. we got Ivan Castillo. got Christian Yellick. Let's see who's behind it, right? So we're going to do the thing where we do the thing and you cover it up. I got uh, Bags, Jeff Bagwell. And it's Ryan Howard in the blue speckle. This is going to be numbered. This is out of 199. So this is card number 185 out of 199. Uh, look at that big smile on Ryan Howard. Eat fresh. Eat fresh. All right. You get uh, Fran Mill Reyes. Is Bobby Dalbeck, Brian Anderson, and I got a Joe Perez rookie card. This one feels a little thicker. I think there may be another parallel in this one. Like I said, parallel insert rates are a little higher on these cards than uh, than one would have any reason to expect for a retail uh, thing. We got Frank Viola, World Series champion. I got Lamonte Wade. Uh, I got something upside down, so we'll come back to that. Uh, I got a Jake McCarthy rookie card, and uh, let's see who's behind the Lamonte Wade. It is a Jared Walsh auto, so that's pretty cool. This is an on-card auto, not a sticker. That's neat. And, uh, yeah, there's Lamonte Wade, but there's a Jared Walsh. That's uh, very cool. Congratulations, the autograph refractor. So this is the refractor version of the card. I'll put that right up here with Ryan Howard. I have one pack left. Don't really need to worry about last pack mojo, but uh, let's see what's in here. So uh, I got five cards in here again. So this is going to be my other prism refractor. 
Got uh, Ralph Kiner. Got Willie McCovey. There's uh, Jared Walsh, the base. There's Mac Muncie. And I got a Richie Ashburn, for whom Ashburn's Alley at the Philadelphia Stadium is uh, is named. So there you go. That's uh, that's pretty neat. This is a great set. I really like it. I've actually pulled significantly better uh, refractors and uh, and color parallels out of this out of these boxes than this than just this but this is you know really not a lot to sneeze at right like i got the on card auto that's pretty cool and i got a, a ryan howard blue speckle out of 199 and this is again this is a retail configuration these boxes are 30 dollars at you know at whatever retailer you're buying cards at so to be able to pull you know numbered parallels almost on a guaranteed level and to be able to pull autos on not a guaranteed level but i think autos are something like one out of every three retail boxes like it's just astounding. Tops did a really fantastic job with this set. Uh, I haven't had the pull of a lifetime out of these boxes yet, but I, I mean, of the boxes I'm going to be buying, this is the one that gives me the highest odds of that. Interestingly enough, and as far as I can tell, this is true, um, I don't think any of the top cards have been found, right? Like, lots of out of fives have been found out of this, but only a couple of the Bobby Witt out of fives have been found. Only a couple of the Julio Rodriguez out of fives have been found. Only a couple, maybe one, of the Spencer Strider out of fives have been found. So far as I know, none of the one of ones have been found out of this set. So, you know, the odds of getting getting the great cards are pretty good. You know, they're they're pretty good. And they're pretty good out of retail. So... This is a great set. Three cheers to Tops. They did a great job with this set. I'm going to be working on completing it. I'm a base set completionist, so I'm going to be out several hundred dollars before all is said and done. It's all Tops' fault for making a good set and nobody else's. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Comment down below. What have you pulled out of this set? What have you found out of these boxes that makes you happy? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.